Hi and welcome to the 8th episode of the Compulsive Canadian Gamer. My name is Chris and I'm here for the 4th day now, getting uh, through all of my Christmas gifts that my wonderful gracious wife has uh, purchased for me for the holiday season. Today um, is the cane for uh, Jacob Fry from Assassin's Creed Syndicate. From the best I can tell, I think this is a, uh, for the most part, an EB Games exclusive in Canada. Um, it is available through sort of secondary sellers on Amazon as well as uh, you can buy it directly from the Ubi store. But uh, for whatever reason, um, the Ubi store sells it for more than EB Games does, and I'm not really sure why. Uh, EB Games, I believe it's, uh, I think it was $39.99, and uh, $39.99 or $49.99, and on the Ubi store, um, it's ten dollars more, and it's in American. So once you factor in the exchange, um, it's about uh, pretty close to twenty dollars more. So I'm really not too sure why there's a disparity in the price. Um, you'd think that buying directly from Ubi would be the best choice, but not in this case. Uh, anyways, um, this is a replica of the cane that Jacob uses in the game. Um, it's pretty nice uh, from what I've seen for the pictures online. Uh, it's 36 inches long, has sort of a hidden blade in one side and uh, a sort of uh, switchblade scythe on the other end. So uh, let's get right down to it. We'll crack this open and, uh, and see what it entails. I'm imagining, uh, I'm imagining you're going to have to assemble it, um, probably two or three pieces, I would guess, especially by the size of the box we got here. The uh, the obligatory safety warning, don't poke your eye out with sharp pointy objects. Alright, as, as you can see, um, it comes in three pieces. Um, you've got sort of the scythe and the sword portion and the actual uh, main body of the cane. But to my knowledge, these are all plastic blades, so um, if you are into cosplay or anything like that, um, you know, these things, you will be able to get them on an airplane and not get tackled by security. Um, this is a knife portion. Um, we're looking at about 18 inches, give or take. For the base, you have the scythe portion of the blade. Um, it is spring-loaded and there's a, little, uh, there's a little button on the back that will allow that to, to flip out. Um, again, this is just, you know, plastic, nothing uh, overly fancy about it. It is uh, fairly ornate, um, you know, not so different than the, the typical toys that are out there, um, you know, toy swords and stuff like that. It's that sort of uh, hard plastic. Um, the blade itself on here is a little bit uh, more rubberized. Nothing, uh, nothing too fancy, and it is, of course, like I say, it's blunt. You'd be lucky if you actually even put out an eye with it. And last is just uh, the main part of the hilt. So the the sword itself has sort of a little uh, a little button, much much like the scythe has. It'll slide in here and then kind of click into into position. And then you'll have to press that button down that's in the handle here to get the sword back out. And then on the base, once this goes in, this is you know not meant to come off on the back side. So it goes in and you give it a half a twist, and uh, and you know it'll stay together solidly. Um, pretty decent item. It is uh, 36 inches long. Not bad for a replica. Um, not bad, I should say, not bad for a cheap replica. Um, it is what it is. It's nothing uh, particularly fancy about it. Uh, I am going to be looking online to see if there's something a little more solid. They have done some pretty uh, decent replicas in the past with uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag and stuff like that. Black Flag had, um, uh, I can't remember what came with that game now. Oh, the, or sorry, Assassin's Creed 3, my bad. Um, they had a replica Tomahawk, which was really well done, and it was through Ubi as well. Um, that actually had sort of the, the metal uh, symbol on the head and stuff like that. So as far as, uh, as, far as more cosplay type items go, this would sort of fit the bill. Um, I am more into collecting sort of steel weapons and stuff like that. So. If there is something that has, you know, actual blades in the hilt and, and the handle, that's what I'm going to be uh, seeing if I can track down. I'm sure there's a couple of uh, a couple of retailers out there that may have that. 
I typically shop from a place called Twiggy's Treasures, and uh, they sell a lot of replica weaponry um, from video games and stuff like that. Uh, not combat ready, but it, most of them do have an edge on them, unlike this guy here. All right, um, that brings this episode to a close. Uh, we've got one more uh, unboxing to do tomorrow, and that is for the uh, Artifacts Master Chief. Um, when Halo 4 came out, uh, Artifacts um, did a series, uh, or did a couple of uh, a couple of things for Master Chief. Uh, just sort of a replica scene from the game, if you will. Um, nothing fancy, just sort of him walking down uh, a ramp, but uh, he is in his, uh, his Halo 4 armor and so forth. So that will be coming up tomorrow. Stay tuned, and thank you all for joining us. Have a great night. Peace.